Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Denver again, and today I'm really excited because I just got the Oculus Quest 2. Finally got it after doing the pre-order, and I'm really excited about it. The main reason why I'm excited about it is because I'm a, I'm a geek and I love to do programming with this device, but I also want to show you the specs, and we're gonna be going through what changed from the Oculus Quest to the Oculus Quest 2. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is the weight. So this device is a lot lighter. It feels a lot less bulkier than this other device, which, you know, is the previous version. And I mean, the form factor, it's almost the same. This one is a little bit thinner than this one, but you can tell right away by, you know, carrying these that this is going to be a lot lighter. So those are the two different changes on, on this device as far as the weight. The other thing is the processor. So the processor on the Oculus Quest is going to be the Snapdragon 835. That was the fastest processor that Oculus, Facebook, you know, got at the time. With this device, you're gonna get the Qualcomm XR2, which is meant for virtual reality. So I am really hoping to see a lot more features come out of this device in the future software updates. And I wouldn't be surprised because when we were working with the Oculus Quest, we saw hand tracking much later and really excited about that. The other thing that we had on differences, we're talking about, you know, having a memory change. So on this one, you're gonna get six gigs of RAM. On the old one, you have the four gigs of RAM. So that is an increase of two gigs, which is going to make the games a lot, you know, perform a lot better. Resolution wise, this is gonna look a lot better. The pixels are gonna look way better when we're looking at the UI. The reason for that is because there are big changes between the resolution on these two devices. So I'm really excited about that. I know I've seen a few games out there that are already putting, you know, putting into the Oculus Quest 2 and the games look a lot better. So really excited about that when we go into Unity and start, you know, doing some games and actual experimentation just to do some comparisons. The other thing is going to be the price, right? Everybody wants to know the price. So this one is going to be cheaper than the, the Oculus Quest. This one starts at $299 uh, with the, you know, the lower tier, which is going to be the 64 gigs where, you know, and, and it's going to go up to 256 gigs, which is going to be double of what the high-end device on the Oculus Quest was. So I'm really excited about that because we're going to be putting, you know, we're going to be able to put a lot more games on it. The other thing that I, I wanted to talk about was the strap. So on the previous version, we had a very rigid strap that, you know, makes sure that this device stay on your head and, you know, it just felt like it was attached. This one, it's a little bit, you know, soft is really no hardcore but facebook is actually including it has a new accessory that you can get from the store that you can you can get i think it's called the the elite face the elite strap that you can get so that i mean that's going to be an added cost but i'm really excited about it because they're still going to provide it where this one is a little bit cheaper so it kind of makes sense that they don't they didn't include it out of the box and you know if you think about price if you offer this device at 299 and you have devices like the Xbox S and, you know, the new PlayStation 5 going to, you know, to be almost twice as much, it makes sense to get this device. So the next thing that I want to talk about is actually show you this device. So let's go ahead and get it out of the box and see how it comes out. All right, guys. So this is the Quest 2. You guys can see the box. It actually came in a little bit broken on the plastic, but that's okay. You can see that the games are, you know, listed behind like Big Saver and claim to in your active world. The box also says what comes inside the VR headset, two touch controllers, the two AA batteries, which is nice to have the batteries in there included, power adapter, glasses spacer, and also a charging cable. So let's go ahead and get this guy open. Just gonna go ahead and get the plastic out here. And there we go. So here's the box and i believe you can slide it to open it up and there we go yep just gonna slide this in and and just for comparison purposes i also have the the box for the previous headset so if you guys look at the previous headset which is right here you can see how you know that how big this one is a little bit bigger it's wider where this one is a little bit taller it's gonna put it right here just to just to let you know about that and I'm just gonna put this right here so you guys can see it. There we go. And then if we get it open, it smells beautiful. <laughs> and here's the device. We have the two, what they call the redesign controllers. We have one for each hand, of course. And then if you look at these controllers, especially the this side right here, 
Let's get it closer to you. It actually looks at the Oculus Rift controllers and I was reading about it and it sounds like these are better for, you know, the, the Rift controllers are gonna be the best controllers ever invented for VR. But, and that's, I think that's why Oculus did it, did it that way. So here are the controllers. Let's go ahead and put them right here. The headset is right here. I was also a little bit afraid that it was gonna have scratches because there were some people that were complaining about having scratches on the device, but here, this one, you know, looks brand new and has this plas plastic seal here. Move lenses left to right to find the clearest view. It's gonna get that. And I mean, this, it, it, it's a little bit lighter. I mean, I'm, I have the other one right here, which is my, you know, the Oculus Quest. And I can, I can really tell the difference on, you know, this one is going to be 503 grams versus this one, which is 575, 71 grams. So I can tell the difference just by carrying this one. And you guys can see the lenses in there as well. The strap, it's not as strong as the, you know, the one on the, on the previous version. And I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to be talking about that in future videos of what you can do. There's actually another strap that you can get now from, from Oculus, which, uh, which has a headrest. And this one is really light. So I'm going to have to try and play around with it to see how it is. But there's that. And then you also have the, you know, for the lenses, we go ahead and put this right here so you guys can see it. And then for the lenses, so you can adjust this. If you have glasses, that's that's that piece. We also have a little box here. Let's go ahead and get this one open. And the box, the Oculus didn't do what iPhone is going to do with the iPhone 12. They actually included the you know the actual adapter, the the wall adapter, <laughs> and also a USB-C cable. So that's pretty standard with you know Oculus devices. And then, you know, a little manual here with the reference guide and warranty. So, I mean, that's really everything that comes with this device. Just a couple of things just to do some comparisons. The, the controller, like I was saying, this is very similar to the Oculus Rift controller. The, you now can kind of rest your thumb on this area right here. Where before, if we were looking at the, at the previous one, if I were to compare that, actually grab the one for the for the other there wasn't any way that you could rest it it was it wasn't really easy to grab it this one is a lot bigger but i think i think it's going to make it a lot better on the experience and you know we have the double a batteries i think they're included because there's actually a sticker here like we can pull out and the battery it's you know it's going to be activated because it now has has contact so let's go ahead and put this away i really like the box it looks nice and the device right here so i can show you how that looks so a couple more things just to talk about here the volume controller it's going to be here you have the plus and the minus we also have the camera sensors so there's four cameras in front so two here and then two here of course brand is in there the the power buttons let me go ahead and get these here out of the way and get this plastic there we go and you can see that we have our power button right here so just get it a little bit closer and the cameras like I was showing you. We also have the, you know, if you want to charge it, it's going to have the USB-C port right there. Also, if you want to plug in external headphones, you can plug in it in there. And then of course you have the, you know, the lenses in here. It's going to take those stickers out. That sounds, you know, sounds really awesome. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, that's it. I'm going to show you, you know, more about this. We're going to be doing, I'm going to be doing a lot more videos about the Oculus Quest.